What's up? Got a few more words about the the porcelain cunt? Fuck! <laughs> Shit. Get ready. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> Johnny! You ain't dying yet. I got you. Johnny. That smells the sea breeze. Flatlined by that attack. Almost. You're right. Hard to take my eyes off it. We in Pacifica? What's this building? Old hotel, the Pistis Sophia. We're her sole guests right now. Wanted to show you something. Come on. Pseudo endotrizing in your hand. Can't very well function in this body without it, right? Got this strange impression your comatose self wanted to get rid of me. Actually put up a good fight. I gotcha. No talking your way out of this one. You wanted to pop the pill. Gonna pretend you didn't say that. Oh, fuck off. I know what you are. Hey, I saved your ass, got you out of harm's way. And you're still gonna doubt my intentions? Had doubts. Just when you were gonna drop them, your conscience poked you in the gut. So Johnny Silverhand's got a conscience after all. Christ, can we just drop it? Climb through the window. Can manage that, I think. <coughs> you wanted to know why I brought you here. There's a hidey hole where I'm standing. Open it. Empty it. These yours? They were. Belong to you now. <sighs> Fifty years back. Uh, Mexican conflict? When I was a young piss brain like you, I enlisted with a corp army. Was in Mexico when I realized that no matter the conflict, corps always win. Ordinary people always lose. So that the truth you decided to reveal in song? Well, deserted first. Wound up here, locked in this room. Laid in bed, staring at the ceiling fan for a good month. <sighs> I wouldn't mind lying down right now. Watching a fan until the end of time. It's why I brought you here. Wasting days, weeks. That's the step I want you to skip. Why are you giving me these? Imagine we're deployed together, fighting in a war, side by side. Would you take a bullet for me? <laughs> Don't ask question. Yes or no? I... I don't know. Answer me. I would... yeah. Tags belong to a man who sacrificed his life for mine in Mexico. Been thinking about our predicament. Want to be clear, I will do you no wrong. When the time comes, it'll be my life for yours. I'll agree to get white. Tags are proof of my promise. Kind gesture, I guess, but... You can't really give me something I already have. Body's mine. Always has been. 
It is my decision. Not Let's not intruders. talk on it anymore, for now, okay? You seriously considering Hanako's offer? I'll do what I need to survive. Even if I have to get my hands dirty. Listen, you'll do what you think's right. You're in charge here. Just got one request. Well? Adam Smasher. Fucker who got the better of me. Whatever happens to me, I want him zero, gone, tossed into the wind as mulch. Seriously? Smasher? He suddenly comes to mind. Last time we saw him... Didn't we... have a chance to say hello. That's why we gotta find him. Finally end this. Not your dying wish? Revenge? It's more than that. And I'll need you to take Rogue with you. It's important to me, and it's just as important for her. Not sure Rogue's the sentimental type. Hmm. Bitter bitch these days, said it yourself. And it has been a while. So I'll jog her memory myself. You'll drop the pills from Misty, and I'll steer the ship for a bit. Not at all excited about this plan. Realize that, right? Just gonna have a quick chat with Rogue about Smasher. Then I'm out, I promise. Need to know exactly what you plan to do. I'll tell Rogue the truth. See if she's willing to help. Hey, just busted out of Soul Prison. Check out my new ass. All I gotta do is mention Smasher. Serve him up on a platter. Muse over the old days. Easy. Need to think it over. Sure, thanks. This is important to me, V. Just get me to the afterlife and hop in the back seat for a bit, that's all. Feeling better. Should get going. Still feel a sharp something near your heart. Doubt that's ever going away. <sighs> the Hotel Pista Sofia. That right? Mm-hmm. Good place to die. Just not today. de mi mujer me pidió que gorroneara un filtro de aire. Como si tuviera Eddies de sobra tirados por ahí. You sell in new or used threads? Used. Nobody's willing to ship any new stock all the way out here. But who am I to complain? You just have to tread the highway, peek into the wreckage. Sharp eye will always pick up something. Hmm? Looking for some decent outerwear. You're in luck. Our prices are out of this world. Get it? Right. I'll wait. Oh, hey! Hi! 
Not coming? Not really my jam, picnics. But you have fun. Spinning a new song, anyway. Rather focus on that. Over here! Glad you're here. I need your help cooking. What's on the menu? Jambalaya. Come on. You can stir the meat. Uh, soy meat. Okay. Oh no, maybe Joss would be more help. Joss did her bit. Just grab the damn spoon and start stirring. This is an ancient Ward family secret. Uh-huh. Onions, paprika, thyme. Just need to mince some celery and garlic. But you stir, please. Stir. I'm stirring, I'm stirring. Bet my socks you've never had better jambalaya. Honestly, thought you were kidding about the cook-off. Or that Joss had sweat away in the kitchen while... Oh. Joss doesn't know the first thing about cooking. Actually, I like to torture foodstuffs. <laughs> Haven't had many opportunities lately. Somehow look different than usual today. Is that so? Yeah. Different meaning... normal. <laughs> As if you got a good night's sleep. Hmm. Well... I wanted you to see this side of me, too. How's Randy holding up? He's looking for his old self. Physically, though, it'll be a long road before he's back to full health. And mentally? That was some experience. What Harris did to him, fucked as this might sound, might have helped the kid. Could be wrong, but feels like a clean break for him. Don't mean to spoil a nice day, but I gotta ask, what about Peter Pan? You're asking if I killed him. We'll talk later, okay? Sure. No pressure. It's just I... You know. I know. All right. Think you've stirred enough? Mind grabbing the rice from the kitchen? Yes, sir. No, Randy's always been that way. But I'm sure this didn't help none. You know, his father was a difficult man, too. That's exactly what I told him. But he always got the Basmati. same speech back. Nice. Nobody cares about these kids who don't exactly fit the mold. Tomatoes in next. Now you can toss in the rice. Rice is in. Okay, now this has to bubble and brew. Patio? Sorry. No, I'll remember. Just tell me. Thanks so, so much. Grab a chair. And a beer or something else. It's nice out here. Yeah. Seems all good. Like nothing bad ever happened. Tell me now, about Harris. I paid him a visit at the hospital. You flatline him? I wasn't sure that was what I really wanted. One shot to the head. Quick and clean. I had the same thought. It would be so easy. I pressed the gun to his head and remembered something. River. How my parents died. Oh, I'm sure you want to hear this. What happened? Old man had a farm, like Harris's dad. But when business took a turn, well... My parents managed to open a small grocery. We lived on the floor above. A loud noise woke us one night. They wanted cash. Register was empty, so they stormed upstairs, forced us all to kneel, and demanded my dad tell him where he hid the money. 
River, you don't gotta go on. Heard sob stories enough? No, just... This is tough, I can tell. We really don't need to rehash it now. Okay, yeah. You're probably right. Just... Harris. What did you do? Had the gun to his head and... I've ended a few lives in my time. But never like that. Never an execution. Slipped out of the hospital quick. Told myself the case was closed. That's good. But when now? You're not going back to the PD? PI has a nice ring to it. Who knows? Uncle we'll River, you said you'd play with us. You promised. All right, all right. Let's go. V, join us? What are we gonna play, Uncle River? You'll see. Dorian, we're playing! Yeah, big trouble in Haywood. Grab your set. think? Could be fun. Well, well. Nice firepower there. This is no time to get distracted. We can't let that filth get away. Who? Oh, well, look at you. V, allow me to introduce Captain Joan McLean and Lieutenant Henry Callahan. They're our precinct's best and brightest. Wouldn't want to get in their way. I always work alone. No exceptions. Even for you. Yeah! Me too! Got a crash course? Anything I ought to know? The entire city is sick with crime and corruption. Lawlessness rules the streets. And we're no saints either. Even the police are haunted by the sins of their past. But the city's without hope. No one else would ever dare face El Chamuco and Diablada. Oh, he's the worst, but I know we can beat him. The city's most evilest mastermind ever. All right, let's get to it. Right. All we gotta do is track down El Chamuco and Diablado and take out his lackeys along the way. He'll pay for his crimes. We'll play like two teams, us and the kids. But we work toward the same objective. The team with the best result wins. You don't stand a chance. Hey v, just go easy, okay? It's their favorite game. Sure. Get him! The city's mine! You'll never take her from me! <laughs> She's fast, but not fast enough to escape justice. <gasps> Watch out! It's Coonies! Hey, I have better aim! <laughs> hey, I have better aim! Not He's done hit! Yet. He's hit! Next round, next round! This way. It must be their rat-infested hideouts. I could smell the moral decay from a mile off. 